Hi, this is Bob Langies, and in this video we're going to take a look at how to configure an Adtran Advanta 1638 to support LLDP MED and DHCP options that enables you to support the IP Office 500 and Avaya 9600 phones very easily using the Adtran switching. And here we have a, a default 1638 switch running uh, the current version of the software today for firmware. Uh, and there's a few tasks that we need to do. First, I'm going to create a voice VLAN. So let's go to VLANs here. And I'm going to match it up to the default um, IP address scheme that's on the IP office as well. So let's call this a VIA VLAN. We'll give it a VLAN ID of 2, which is arbitrary. We'll select VLAN interface so that we can manage it from that as well. We'll enable the VLAN, and then I'm going to enable an IP address. So I'll make this 192.168.42.5 with a 24-bit submask. So we'll fix that error there and apply these changes. Okay, so now on my switch I have two VLANs. I have my regular default VLAN and I have my um, via voice VLAN. So now uh, what we're going to do is define a DHCP scope that will work with this as well. So we got two things, our pool and our excluded ranges. So let's make a pool. Let's call it voice pool. We'll add it. This is super duper easy. 2.0 Again, I'm matching up to those default IP office settings of 192.168.42.1. So I got this entire network here. I will make the gateway my switch for now in my network. Your network may be different, but this is what I'm going to use for now. And for some reason, I seem to like that 4.3 instead of 4.2, which happens to be the secondary interface on the IP office, but we're not going to worry about that now. So optional configuration, I'm not going to worry about any of that now. You may need some things in there, but the big thing is numbered options. And these are really, really very easy. So I need option 176. And then for the, for the text here, so it's 176 and the type is ASCII text. And I'm going to cheat and copy and paste from another page that I have here. But it's very easy to set this up and I will make the configuration file available as well but basically so for 176 I'm going to paste in this which is the MCIP address of the IP office and then the port and then the TFTP server and I'm going to add numbered options for 176 and then some of the other phones take uh, option 242 so I'll add that as well 242 in the same deal I'm just going to copy and paste out of my configuration file just so I can show you how to do this in the GUI here and I'll provide that to you and you add those numbered options okay so now I've created a DHCP pool or almost I've started to create a DHCP pool on the 192.168.42.0 network with numbered options as we had shown there and I'll hit apply. Now once I do that I'll also want to exclude some of the range too. So let's say we'll go all the way up to 99. So I can have static addresses below that so I'll add that there. Okay, so now I have a DHCP pool for my voice VLAN, which I'm going to set this up here, 192.168.42.0 network, and it's going to exclude uh, the addresses from 1 to 99 in that network to give us places to put things. So LLDP is on by default on the NetVanta switches. So if you click on LLDP there, it basically in that setting is just going to tell you, you know, which ports are enabled to send and receive LLDP. Uh, there's the odd chance sometimes you turn off that functionality, but if you just if it's a new switch, it'll be on. And what I'm gonna I'm gonna do two things here. I'm gonna show you how to do this in the GUI, but really what you're gonna do is you're gonna jump down in the command line to apply it to all of the ports. 
So let's just do this. So if I go to so data and I click on ports there like I have and I click on a port click on, click on general there and I select the port so I clicked on that port right there it's going to bring up some more detailed information and what I'm worried about here is VLAN application and right now and just this can look a little confusing right now this looks like something's applied, but these are really the settings to apply an the policy that will be defined down here. So right now the application is voice, so when a phone plugs in, LLDP queries it, it says, hey, I'm a voice endpoint. And what I want to do is put that into VLAN number two. And let's give it some class of service and differentiate services codes there. We'll apply that. So what I said for switch port 0 slash 1, when somebody plugs in a device that reports to be voice, it's going to send it to VLAN number 2, and it's going to give it these quality of service settings here. All right, so from a base setup, right now, if I plugged a phone into switch port number 1, it's going to get an address on VLAN 2 like we just created it and it's going to find the IP office but we'll want to apply that across all the ports and to do that we're actually going to jump into the CLI okay so now we've jumped into the CLI enter enable mode default password is just password all lowercase and let's take a look at the running configuration and what I'm going to do is look for that first switch port that I configured so that I could cheat with copy and paste here. Let's see, here's my DHCP range. So if you look, here are the ranges that I've created with the options. So even if you wanted to just cut and paste this part of the config, you could do that as well. But I'd like to show it in the GUI so you could see that. Uh, the part that I'm interested in here, though, is my gigabit switch port 0 slash 1 is switch port voice VLAN 2. So that means when somebody plugs something into this switch port that is a voice application, it's going to put that on switch on VLAN number 2. So I'm going to I'm going to highlight this and I'm going to copy it. And then I'm going to configure it. So configure terminal and we need to use the interface range command. So interface range gig 0 slash 1 to 48 right that's that and I'm using putty for my terminal emulation so I just right click and it'll paste what I have there so switch port voice VLAN 2 is going to be applied on all of those so the net result is here that uh, you're able to plug in a VIAF going to come up and find the LLDP settings, the phone will assign itself to the proper VLAN, it'll get the IP address on the 192.168.42 network that we created, and the IP phone will then grab the files that it needs from the IP office and will make a successful connection. Remember, you still have to define extensions on the IP office, uh, but for my test, everything worked just fine on the very first try. Thanks a lot for listening.